When I was a young man growing up here in the United States, it was quite a different world. As a matter of fact, every time I would end up with a cold or a flu, which was cut quite often, considering the diet I lived on, basically I was told that it was a good thing to have a fever. Then all at once, some ominous activity occurred via the pharmaceutical industry. More than half a century ago, they started to convince people that fevers were highly dangerous and they may kill you. As a matter of fact, fever is a response from the leukocytes, the soldiers of the immune system, fighting microbes. And it heats the body up. It's a very healthy thing. Now, of course, there's a point where prolonged high-level fevers can be dangerous, and one needs to see a medical physician in short order. But the vast majority of us, the small fevers we contract when picking up a viral disease or a bacterial problem, is something that the body needs to do, because if not, you won't get well. What we're actually now seeing is that medicine and areas of medicine reported in JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, are actually stating these things that I've just said, that fevers are healthy and that, in fact, don't always discourage them. So be logical about this. Make sure you don't try to suppress them with over-the-counter or prescription drugs. And if they become high, and certainly any length of time, you need to see your physician immediately and or go to the hospital emergency room.